Good morning everyone, this is Jerry3904. My video is broken today so you don't get to see me here. I also have hay fever so if you hear me sneeze or snort please just ignore me. A minute of news before I introduce MX Fluxbox 2.2 that was released just yesterday. Um, one item that we did find a an error, somebody found an error in the menu translations. We've corrected that and we've uploaded it and it should be distributed today if you've run into that. Okay, so um, what's new in 2.2? Uh, we're going to go off and take a look. We're looking at the default desktop for MX Fluxbox 2.1. And I've already gone through all the upgrades so that I know that MX Fluxbox 2.2 is has been downloaded to the upgraded to in the system. What hasn't happened, of course, is that it's taken into the home files. Uh, make sure that you take a look at the blog uh, that was just published on this. This is the blog. It said and MX Fluxbox 2.2 released, and we see that. Um, we see that it's restored, it's installed to the system, but we have to install it to home. Okay, so make sure you read that. It'll don't I don't don't ask any questions. How do I get it? How do I that kind of thing? So uh, we have a new option um, called uh, a new option called uh, it's a minimal option for people who really like their current desktop and don't want to fool around with it but would like to have a couple of the most important changes and um, we can do that by by running MX uh, tweak I'm going to open this here and type in TW and get MX tweak and on the flux box make sure it's upgraded on the new version you can see we have upgrade existing menu entries so I'm going to check that and I'm going to click apply and this tells me that they're going to add an about entry a change the command for all apps and improve the switch between toolbar types your current menu will be totally backed up in the usual place restore Fluxbox so I'm going to say yes that was pretty quick. So let's check if that's correct. This is the minimal way to do it. All I've done is to add um, some new uh, menu entries and the apps that go with them. So I'm going to right click the root menu. Aha! About is right there. That wasn't there before. So I'll click on it and we get the new about screen. This tells us that we're looking at MX Fluxbox 2.2. It tells us the release date and we can actually see the change log if we want to. Okay, so that's good. And the other thing it did is that we're, we're gonna look at this in detail is that we have a brand new way to deal with the toolbar and we now get a choice between Fluxbox, which we're looking at, and the traditional one. And I'll show you that in a second. So this is the minimal way, right? And now I'm going to do the rest and pull in the whole, uh, the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to clear out my existing because I don't care about it. And I'm going to go to a new, uh, the whole new version. So I'm going to open up here. I'm going to type in Flux just so I can get to the right MX Flux box. I'm going to launch that. It says it'll install this into my folder. and it's done I have to log out and back in and that will uh, cause a break in the uh, in the recording so here we go so that appears to have worked we're now looking at the default desktop of MX Fluxbox 2.2 um, it's uh, a beautiful desktop background by one of our users WD Sharf he's letting us use it for this I'm going to clear out a couple. This is I'm, I'm recording this on a 10-year-old HP Elite book, and it doesn't have a very large screen. So I'm going to get rid of the conky out of sight uh, toggle, the conky off, and I'm going to get rid of the icons out of sight desktop icons, so I don't see those. Just to simplify the screen a little bit. So the two big changes, are, which are now in the menu, involve how we get a how we get a run or an all apps. What what we're going to use to do that, and the other one is deals with the traditional toolbar. 
I'll start with um, with the new Run app. We have we are using in we are using something called Rofi. There is a complete wiki entry that's linked in that blog I just show you. Make sure you take a look at that if you're interested. Um, so Rofi, R-O-F-I. So now when I click the F2 button, I get the Rofi screen in the middle there. You can see that says D run. I can cal I can run calc. I can go window. I can go run. I can. These are. This is the way I do. So this is my my Rofi. It's very powerful. Um, D run shows us all of the actual applications in the desktop files uh, and so this one gives us an icon and it gives us uh, we can use uh, applications here that uh, require root access okay so um, yeah, I'm not going to do it but we could we could do it that way so that's nice and this this is very very quick if we know something you don't even have to know the proper name if I just know that I want to show uh, LibreOffice uh, impress all I have to do is go is start and there you see it is already right there in entry number three so it's very quick uh, it's very very nice run on the other hand is a full any um, any application any file that's in the system is pretty much uh, picked up by this we can run we don't have to be running just applications but it's very quick for a simple run uh, and we use that typically for um, for uh, for run. There is a window changer. We can switch back and forth on windows if we want to. And there's a calculation. Uh, this is kind of nice. I could, for instance, I can have 23 and a half. Um, uh, what will I do? 23 and a half uh, times 7. 223 doesn't matter. And I get an answer quickly, which is nice. I can get, I can go fancy. I can get the area of a circle, pi times a radius of 16, and then I put up a little caret there, um, and misplaced, ignore it. So pi times 16. Uh, I see what I did is I left off the two. So I'm going to try it one more time. Pi times 16 carat 2 there we go 804 so it's pretty neat you can do a lot of stuff with it and it's a great run program it's also what we use to provide now all apps instead of showing you the uh, XFCE menu this is we show this one now it's very quick we use this also from the new toolbar as I'll show you in a second so that's the new run uh, that's the new run and all apps called Rofi once again, make sure you read the, the wiki entry on it that is linked in the blog. Now the second major change with MX Fluxbox 2.2 is that we've completely replaced how we produce the traditional desk, uh, the traditional panel. We're using a, um, an application called Tint2, T-I-N-T-2. Uh, it's extraordinarily versatile and uh, attractive it's really really very cool and then one of our devs Felix has run given us a great toggle so that we can now simply say on that toolbar show me the traditional panel and boom there it is that's pretty nice huh boom there it is so we now have uh, let me get the de the dock out of the way again so try to clear things out uh, auto hide dock and so here we have a traditional panel. It works just the way you sort of think of. There's an exit icon on the back. Um, there's a start icon on the front, which gives us uh, the uh, XFCE menu. And you can you recognize most of these. There are three. The default is to have three desktops. And this runs, you can set it up differently. This runs with each desktop having its own area on the taskbar. And this becomes gray, light gray when you change. So if, if I change to this, then you know you're on that desktop. So that's, that's pretty handy. The one you wouldn't recognize is right here. This is the, the, these are the settings for Tint 2. And I want to show you that because you're probably going to want to go in there. So I'll 
So now the uh, properties and the panel uh, have, have come up in, in tint two. And th this panel on the left, upper left, has our highlighted in blue is the, uh, is the uh, configuration we're using. There are others that you can try that are in here. I've not tried them, don't, don't ruin it there. And then when you have that highlighted, you can click on this other screen. And this is the properties screen for that particular uh, that particular uh, that particular configuration. So for instance, let me show you the panel for instance, the panel position you might not want it 100% across the screen so that you could drop it to um, you could drop it to 80% for instance. and click apply and the panel shrinks to eight, which is very nice. Uh, you can do all sorts of things on there. This is where you get to choose what's on the, uh, what the air, the items are that are on there, how the taskbar is arranged, the actual task buttons themselves, what launchers are on there. These are the items that are shown down here, the launchers that are on there. The exit, uh, the exit one at the far right is actually a button. And so that's where you that's where you, that's where you will um, do all the changes that you want to on Tint 2. It's a very very nice um, uh, change for us for toolbars for a traditional toolbar, and I think you're going to like it a lot. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. The uh, there are many other changes. Take a look at the blog. One handy one that Dolphin Oracle uh, pointed out to me is to change the logo button so that it kicks up the uh, the simple all applications. So all you do is hit the logo button and it pops up. And there are other changes as well. I hope you'll take a look at MX Fluxbox 2.2. And if you do, let me know what you think.